There is actually a funny story connected to that list edition. There was a publisher in Wolfenbüttel called Ludwig Holle. And this uh, Mr. Holle was actually kind of a rogue because in the 1850s he started publishing several editions of classical um, pieces. And this is a complete edition of Beethoven's Piano Sonatas edited by Ignaz Moscheles once again. So far so good, but the problem was that Moscheles didn't know anything about this. So what Holle, the publisher, did was he took the Speer edition from 1840, which I presented to you earlier, which was indeed done by Ignaz Moscheles, and he just copied it and published it under his own name, saying that it was um, edited by Moscheles, I guess, in order to make a little more money. Even more strange than that, there was even a second edition of the same um, fake publication, now once again uh, edited by someone else called Stolze. It's pretty much the same, but some of the metronome markings are actually changed. Moscheles learned about that, of course, and he published a protest against it, so it was like a little scandal in the 19th uh, century. Now, the same publisher, Holle, also got in touch with Franz Liszt around the same time when this edition came out, and he discussed with Liszt also the idea of a complete edition of Beethoven's piano sonatas. Liszt knew about the Moscheles scandal, but he said, well, that wasn't really his problem because he would like publish his own edition of Beethoven's piano works. And he was very interested to do such an edition because he cared very much about Beethoven's piano music and a accurate interpretation of those sonatas. So in 1857, Franz Liszt's uh, edition of the Beethoven sonatas came out with Holle in Wolfenbüttel. Now there is something very interesting about this. If we compare those two editions, we see that the plate numbers are the same. So it's 39 in the fake Moscheles edition and it's 39 in the list edition. So that means they used the same plates for both editions. So they took the fake Moscheles edition and changed it for the list edition. If you observe this edition done by Franz Liszt, we see quite many changes made. Some of them in terms of the actual music, so notes were changed. Most of them in terms of articulation or phrasing. Since the plates are the same, we can conclude that the changes made for the list edition were actually intentional. So with a quite high level of certainty, we can say that the changes we witness in the list edition really were intended by Franz Liszt. I would like to give you two examples of such changes. One is a change about the actual music, the other one about phrasing. The first example is taken from the first movement, bar 321. It's this passage. In the fake Moscheles edition, we find the same version as in the Viennese first edition. I'm going to play it once more and more slowly so that you can follow the harmonies. In the Liszt edition, this 
uh, was changed to an other harmony, as you can see here, and it sounds like that. So apparently Liszt thought that the original Viennese first edition was somehow wrong and changed it to this new version. The second example is taken from the Adagio, right at the beginning, starting at bar four, and this is now about phrasing. As you can see here, the fake modulus edition has a bow in this middle bar from the first to the second note. This bow is missing in the list edition, but the list edition shows a pedal indication in the bass. And actually, the fake modulus edition represents uh, the version that is published in the, the original uh, modulus edition for Speer, whereas the list edition is changed back to the original Viennese first edition. Now, this has consequences in terms of interpretation because the phrasing is different. In the fake modulus edition, the phrasing uh, takes place at the end of the bar, whereas in the list edition, it takes place in the middle of the bar. And that sounds quite uh, differently. I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to overdo it a little bit so that you can hear what I mean. So this is the modulus version. And the list version is like that. Of course, it's a small detail, but it's like a noticeable difference. And there are quite many of those to be found in lists edition.